Y'all seem to not be able to get enough of me listening to Victoria songs, so we're here for a third time. And yes, I can confirm, I'm excited. It seems like every song I've listened to from this show has just been banging, although I will say Five Fingers to the Face was, um, something. <laughs> But genuinely, I just have like so much confidence in this show now, it's insane. I'm already feeling like I should like strap in because the quality is gonna be insane. Before we start, I wanted to let you know that I upload some uncut versions of my reactions over on Patreon. You can also hear me swear uncensored over there if that's your thing. The link is in the description. Also, you should join my Discord, the link for that is also in the description. Now, I'll admit this first song confused me a little because I wasn't sure what it was. <laughs> it's called Leave It All to Shine and I was like, wait, isn't that just the iCarly theme song? And I was a little confused because it says Victorious and iCarly, but it seems to be a mashup of the theme songs of the shows. I'm trying to think how that'll sound and I'm struggling a little. My verdict is bitchin'. <laughs> What's funny is I've never watched iCarly, but I could sing a fair amount of that theme song and I don't even know why. Oh, it's Oh, it's starting with hers? Hold on, sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry to pause after literally two words. I guess I thought I was gonna get an external music video. Is there a crossover episode? I love that. I mean, this sounds a little different already. Oh. <laughs> Why did I think she was going to sing the next lyrics of the iCarly theme song? Of course, you know, she's going to sing her theme song. Is it just tossing it back and forth? Oh, it'll be cool if they sing together with it. But each of them singing their respective theme songs? Oh, that could be interesting. Lost, <laughs> oh, what the? Okay, everyone's here. So oh, they sound nice together. So oh, that's cool. I was like gonna say who is gonna sing that, but my god, that like group harmony was lovely. What the hell? I'm, I'm just gonna hear it again. That's insane. Oh my god. <laughs> Come back. That's so good. Oh my god, they slowed it down. Oh, that's cool. That's what I was hoping to see. I didn't want them to just sing their own theme songs. I wanted them to sing each other's and them harmonizing. Oh, they, who would have thought? I mean, probably everyone. I was like, who would have thought that their voices would have sounded nice together? But like everyone, probably everyone thought that except for me. Oh my God. I, I love how different this is. Someone was just coming in doing some lovely high- Oh my god, like, I am already so sold on this. We're starting so strong that the rest of this video- It doesn't even matter what happens in the rest of this video. The rest- All the other songs could just be like four minutes of silence and I'd still- I'd still be living. Oh. Okay, I mean, who's surprised by Ariana doing some incredible high harmonies like that? But they chose some really interesting harmonic layers. It was like almost a minor shift in the background. This is so good. Oh god, her voice is inc- Oh, of course, she does her little runs. Oh my Ari Ariana. Even back then, just delivering with it. So much flair, it's fabulous. I need to know if there's like a full length studio version of it. I mean, I don't know, I guess the songs are kind of short, but I want them to extend it. Give me like a, give me like a four minute version of all this. Whoa, the drums at the end. Okay. <laughs> When I think, oh, I'm gonna hear a mashup of like two very popular theme songs, there's a part of me that thinks, oh, maybe it might not blend super well. I don't know how they're gonna do it. Uh, turns out, incredibly, everyone also sings amazingly because of course they do. And you know, it was a flawless crossover. Like I said, we just started the video so strong. That's ridiculous. And some of those like harm, they sound like a, like a barbershop quartet <laughs> in the best way for the record. I, well, man, I don't really have anything else to say about that first. I'm already speechless. Where I've, I've been filming for like not even 10 minutes and I, I'm speechless. What's that say? Let's just go to the next song and see if my socks are gonna get knocked off again. I'm not wearing any socks now because that just knocked them off. 
Sometimes I think I should stop speaking sooner than I do. The next song is called Finally Falling. Okay, not what I expected. Oh God. Okay, like, you know, I know that it's a show that clearly has a, f a fair amount of singing, but I feel like from all the comments I've seen about the show, people tend to love everyone's voice except for sort of Victoria's. And I don't know if it's just me, but I think she has a gorgeous voice that delivers incredible runs and lovely notes with such ease. It's just such a treat for me to hear her sing, especially when we get her voice in such a raw and real context. Oh, why is he? It kind of sounded like Coldplay. It's only you, I know it's true. Oh, are they like a thing? Oh, damn, the minor slide now, love that. <laughs> okay, that's different. Okay, Slay, oh my god, get it. How does Victoria's consistently make me like bounce my foot? Even for songs like this, you know, it started slow. I thought it was gonna be like a nice love ballad. And then that beat comes in with that electric guitar play and that rhythm. And I just can't help but be like, yeah. It. It. I it. <laughs> she, she flick him on the nose. Are they? <laughs> so weird. But, uh, thought that they were singing about liking each other or something and it kind of <laughs> seems like the opposite now maybe i'm misreading these lyrics oh okay yeah okay it's like oh it's what what, what we feel that matters oh i love that melody just another song that sounds like it could be a billboard chart hit what are they signaling oh. Oh, to get the mask off? Okay, yeah, give me a keyboard solo. Oh, is he stalling with a solo? Oh my god, I love that. I mean, he absolutely eats. Did, did that guy reserve a seat for his ventriloquy dummy? Man's got an obsession. She does just have such a vibe to her. I just realized that it's been mostly her singing since it got faster. Is he gonna sing too? Guess not. That's fine. I'm happy with her leading. Oh my God. Okay, high notes. Okay, that's over. Oh my God, too soon. Too <laughs> Those high highs were, mwah. she hits them so nicely. And she does it with such a full bodied tone. She doesn't really get airy with it. They're not those like breathy high notes, she's smacking them. And that really helps add this like power to the song. I don't know, whenever she sings, I just feel like she's powerful and she owns the room. And I mean, that's two bangers now in a row. I mean, I say that as though I haven't been just impressed by every song I've listened to from this show, but still it just puts me in such a good mindset. I'm, oh, it's just so nice when I enjoy music this much while filming videos. And from this show, like I just, I, I constantly forget that it's just a Nickelodeon show. This song is called Here's To Us. Uh, also, they're holding hands. Are they, are they a thing? I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. They're both very weird people. Who's ready to rock the cow wow? The, the cow, cow wow. Cowboy hat. What is this like dude ranch luau crossover? It's bizarre. This is a song written by Andre and me and it's called... Oh, I love them singing together. They're so good. When I've heard these two sing before, it's been glorious. They just, they meld so beautifully together. So I'm ready for more. The outfits are something. The tassels, oh my God. Okay, deeper husky tone. Can I sit here next to you? And oh, oh. Well, that's different from her. Oh man, I just realized with her doing that kind of tone, she's really matching his smooth, buttery. He doesn't really go breathy, but he has that like, yeah, husky tone. Having the both of them do that together, oh, it's. I'm ready for this chorus, man. Not a dollar in my pocket, but I rock it like I am. Okay. 
dude. I love her attitude. So effortless. I know that he's great at doing backing vocals, but I want him to lead a chorus. Okay, I mean them together is great too. Man, they are both hitting those loud and hard. <laughs> it's a kind of weirdly composed song, but I'm here for it. It's a crime if he doesn't rap as well. I just want to hear that smooth, gorgeous, flowy voice rap. Take it. Come on, I want him to lead something. Okay, I mean, I'll accept the chorus again. Her voice is freaking incredible. Man, they have the chemistry on stage. Okay. Hit me with that vibrato coming out of that song. So... <laughs> I just... I... okay. Something that I find extra impressive about all of these is from what I can tell from the comments, what people have said, a lot of the songs were written by the actors. And I mean, that makes sense. Like they're clearly musicians. They can clearly sing and clearly play instruments. So it doesn't really surprise me that they wrote some of their own stuff, but it does impress me. They're writing, singing and acting and doing all of them quite efficiently. And the other part of all of this is that these songs aren't boring or repetitive. I don't think at any point with any Victoria song I've been like, okay, come on, hurry up now. We're getting towards, well, we're just repeating. Oh, it's so boring. I'm constantly wanting more. Their song lengths and the way they construct them and the way that they flow through them is impeccable. I also think it would be a crime if any of these people didn't end up having long lasting, solid music careers because they deserve them. The next song is called Best Friend's Brother. Uh, I was gonna say I have no clue what it's about, but you know, clearly it's about their best friend's brother. But my question is, is it like, are they simping for their best friend's brother or something? Kind of weird to write a song about him if so. Or maybe it's a song about how much of a dick their best friend's brother is. I say that as though that wouldn't also be a weird and awkward situation. Just call him out with the song. <laughs> Always such good drum beats, man. I still have no idea who this guy is. He just keeps showing up and doing weird stuff. He's got a gas canister. Are you late for arson? <laughs> That's some weird cuts. Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> I love the way she's singing this so far. The music is really interesting. It is the first thing that I thought about her like simping for her best friend's brother. Uh, and that's <laughs> it's a bit weird, fam. I don't know, like I would be really uncomfortable if one of my friends started telling me that, ooh, I make sure I call when he's home so that he picks up the phone and when he does, oh, I jump out of my skin. I love your brother so much, he's sexy. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> don't talk about my brother like that, please. And especially, um, don't, sing about him in front of a crowd. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable, man. It's not... <laughs> it's not strange to, like, have a crush on your best friend's brother. What is weird is doing this about it. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a sec, I'm gonna reset my brain and, and, and try to move on because I want to sit here and listen to the music and not be weirded out by the context of this. I'm gonna just assume, oh, maybe it's all fine and innocent for some reason. <laughs> I really hope I can get him Oh, I tried. I tried to get past it. Um, oof. I really hope I can get him alone. I just don't want it to know. Bro, like, mm. am I am I the only one that finds this a bit weird? Let's see. What, did the comments say anything? No. I mean, no one seems to really care. Again, I, I, I have no issue with how she's feeling. Um, but you know, don't get up on stage and just be like, yo, I want to f my best friend's brother. <laughs> Help me. Oh, why do I know this? Is this, this a TikTok sound? It is a TikTok sound. Oh my God, I had no idea. Oh my God, Ariana with her flowing. 
Yeah, that's that's kind of awkward. It's raining. I know. <laughs> Do we stop? I mean, or you want to keep going. But I, I mean, I, I wouldn't. I guess I wouldn't stop because of the rain. But like, there's electric equipment there, fam. <laughs> God, she she eats every time she opens her mouth. It's okay. <laughs> it's it's. I mean, she's singing about how he wants her to. So like, that's fine. Uh, and abbreviating it to BFB. Man, she's put thought into this. Her lower notes are so good. But is it wrong if I see him? She sounds like a 2000s pop idol. I love it. Ooh, I just heard, hold on. I didn't pick up on that straight away. I didn't realize that Ariana was doing these really soft high harmonies. Like they're so like in the background, but man, they add such a great contrast. I just don't, don't want her know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, oh, that's so good. <laughs> oh, they sound amazing together. So strong with her notes. Hello. Oh. The breathy highs. Girl. She's incredible, man. I hope she's making stuff now. It's very, very, very catchy. Oh my god. So I'm just gonna get past and ignore uh, the weird context of that song and say, my God. I think at this point, I would find it fascinating if there was a song that I didn't like from this show because I wanna know what that would possibly sound like, how they would make something I don't like because at this point, I don't, it doesn't feel possible. Her voice is so incredibly versatile. I feel like she can do everything and not even just do it okay. She does everything so well. And honestly, I think that song really showcased her range. There were breathy highs, there were chesty highs, there were low lows, there was huskiness, there was harmonies. She just did everything. So the last song I'm gonna listen to today feels like something I should have done ages ago. And you know what? I thought I did it. When I kept seeing comments requesting this song, I was like, I did this in like the first Victorious video, didn't I? Except I'm a fool. I thought that I'd done this song because in the first video I did on Victorious, I watched something that said it was from the episode that also shares the same title as this song apparently. So I just watched another song from the episode and not this. So finally, three videos in at the end of the third video, I'm gonna listen to Freak the Freak Out. I actually have no idea what I'm expecting for sound. Is that, who's that, Tori? Someone in a disguise? Okay, I'm a little confused what's up with the disguise. Let me guess. Because um, if I remember right from the comments, people were saying this was like a talent show at the karaoke place or something. So has she put on this disguise to sort of do like a, oh, don't judge a book by their cover sort of thing? I love the rhythm. Okay, it is Tori. And now they're like, oh, damn. Okay, uh, <sighs> this video has just turned into me fanboying over Victoria. She's in, she's incredible with everything she does. Her voice and just her vibe. I, <laughs> I feel like it's not that often that I just end up rambling about someone like this, but I'm in. Yeah, I love her wholeheartedly. And I also love songs that give me rhythmical lyrics like this. Where's the freak the freak out part come from? <laughs> oh, that's, this is something that I, oh, I love when songs do because so much of that chorus or maybe pre-chorus, I guess, were fast paced quick fire lyrics. And then we get a long drawn out note to sort of really break up that pace. Oh, that's cool. I love the shout. Oh my god. How did she not tip that table? Oh, maybe it's bolted down. <laughs> Dude, I love it. That's me. I'd be Ariana right there, screaming. Oh no, are they gonna sing? Oh, they're just dancing. They're just all queens. Absolute queen. I'm so happy, my god. 
Again, showing her versatility, just the stuff she can do. The fact that she's able to pull off this style too, because obviously her singing belty voice is incredible, so is her husky, everything. Everything she does is great, but being able to have proper flow like this and keeping up with the pace of lyrics, mm, love it. That's a banging chorus, so good. Oh my god, just so effortless. Ugh. She's so good, what the f guys? No, oh it's, no, come on. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine then. Fine, I guess it's over. I'll... Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm gonna do with myself now. I'll just be sad. I wanted there to be more. That was so good. Oh, <sighs> you know, if you just rewound time a little bit and said to past me, like, hey, you know, in a couple of years, you're gonna be sitting here fanboying and freaking out about how good Victoria Justice is in a Nickelodeon show. I don't think I would have believed you. It would have been a very strange thing to hear, and yet here I am. And you know what? I, I don't, I don't have any issues with it. It's fine. I just, I need, I need to go decompress because that, yep, my world has been rocked, and I don't know what to do now. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for getting me to listen to these songs. I love you all for it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time.